we have to be realistic about human behavior, but we have to be also realistic about why things are done. The people that are running things now, they're not the people that were running things before. It's like the song Zombies, you know, they're following the same old script, but that script was to make even your life bad. And what the Illuminati, the oligarchs and architects of Western civilization, uh, what they were doing is making humanity worse and making humanity stressed because they wanted to introduce a Messiah. It's in the protocols of the learned elders of Zion. And uh, part of that plan was also Adam Weissall pitting uh, Islam against the Western world or against Ju Judaism. But the thing is, is that what they didn't account for or what they thought they could mitigate is that we all breathe in the same air. I breathe in what you breathe out eventually. And if it's negative, it affects us all. These are like sockets. This too, not the same type, but it's bringing in the, the, the air. So they became more and more stupid and easier to defeat. The ones at the bottom, like myself, who are going through extreme suffering, but being part of a tradition, uh, generation after generation, meaning lifetime after lifetime, transmigrating from different bodies to different countries, to into different peoples, tribes, etc. They didn't count that people like us exist and would not take it anymore. Didn't account for divine law. I mean, I have to say to Ahu, to the Kemu, and to, to the people, uh, good or bad, that pushed Egypt, that pushed Kemet. Because the idea of Ma'at has just grabbed me. The realization that you can win because you're righteous is just, is, it is inevitable that the righteous will win. It is inevitable, it's unavoidable. But the problem is that the unrighteous, their problem is that they don't know they're unrighteous or they believe that, that they can be and get away with it.